This is a classic completing the square question. Pause the video and see if you can do it. The question says, given that x squared minus 6x plus 1 is equal to x minus a squared minus b, for all values of x, find the value of a and the value of b. How do we know that this is a completing the square question? Well, on the left-hand side of our equation, we have a quadratic, x squared minus 6x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we have x plus or minus something squared plus or minus something on the end, a classic completing the square question. So how are we going to do it? Completing the square is pretty much just a method to be memorized. How do we do it? I'm going to start off by rewriting the left-hand side of the equation. So we're going to have x squared minus 6x plus 1. Step number one, what do we do? We're going to write out a pair of brackets and we're going to write an x at the front. The next step, we're going to look at the number next to the x here in the middle. Here it's a negative 6 and we're going to halve that to get negative 3. That is going to tell us the number that goes inside of our brackets. Next step, we're going to square our bracket and we're going to copy down this number on the end, the plus 1. Final step here, we're going to square the number inside of the brackets and take it away. So here we're going to square the three, we're going to get nine and we're going to subtract that. We're going to have one plus nine on the end there. Sorry, one minus nine. The final step is going to be to simplify this. We're going to have X minus three squared and then we can do plus one minus nine is going to give minus eight. So what's the value of A? What's the value of B? Well, the value of A is going to be this three here and the value of b is going to be that 8 on the end. If you weren't sure how to do that, consider revising completing the square. Pretty much guaranteed to come up in at least one of the papers.